G'day you good people, got another kit unboxing today, we've got a 135th SDKFZ9 FAMO 18 ton half track. So, as usual, standard Tamir box, okay, white on the outside with some really nice artwork on the front. Going to the sides of the boxes, on the bottom here, there's a camouflage version, okay, so this is the 20, um, 237 Stug Brigade 1943 Russia. Alright, so you can see there, it just goes da di da di da and it shows you um, the camo job on that. On the short sides of the boxes, usual stuff, it's what's on the front of the box, there's no point showing you that, just a normal run through of the box. And on the other side, we have a side panel optional, so obviously what they I think what they're, because it does come with an engine, I'm pretty sure. So on the front of the box, it says um, highly accurate static model display, realistic ex exterior detailing, and engine okay eight figures with lifelike expressions pneumatic rubber tires and detailed assembly detailed assemble assembly tracks and it should be fair uh, movable front wheels okay so we've got like a you know, obviously hinges and pins and things that you're putting up to melt together and things like that it's usual to me but getting back to this that's why that's optional, okay? So you do get an engine. So if you want to show engine detail of this model when it's completed, you you can, okay? You got tool st uh, storage hatch, select open or close, and it says assembly track, okay? But what they're saying is it's um, indie tracks, all right, guys? So we've got individual plastic link tracks, and we have a drawbar, okay? And the armored vehicle is not included. Okay, so we're just getting the FAMO here on the on the front of the box, and just different um, towing options. So if you are towing a Tiger, um, see Tiger one not included, includes one FAMO. But if you are towing a Tiger, they're saying this thing you probably if you're in a diorama, you're probably going to need three of these things. All right. So, but if you're into the technical side of it and all the mechanical engineering side, you know you probably correct me on that might need two I don't know depends who knows but anyway that's the box art on the outside we're going to crack the box open and as usual I'm going to get to the instructions first so let me dig these out all right so let's have a look we've got all the stuff out so starting off with the just the paperwork included we normal to me are just Safety instructions and things, what you should do with the model for your first time. Just have a quick flick through this in whatever language that corresponds to you. Alright, so just a little piece of paper here. And we also got, and I've started seeing this more and more in the newer Tamiya kits. It's Tamiya Tech Tips. So, once again, if you're a beginner or you're building this, you know, your kid wants to build it with you, you know, you get them to read this and have a look at all the safety instructions and what kind of tools that they're going to need. All right, so there's just saying different types of glues, removing excessive excess plastic, cutting off parts. So it is in Japanese and in English. All right, and there's a little thing up the top here that um, what kind of tools you're going to need for this model. And on the back we have test fitting. Always remember to test fit your models before um, committing to glue. Removing metal plating. Alright, so what they're talking about is PE, so you need a um, like sharp knife, metal plated parts required, preparation for detachment, alright, so yeah, it's weird, but yeah, it's just showing PE, but if you want to see a photo of how to use um, cut and prep PE, comment down below and I'll be more than happy to make one for you guys. Uh, painting using different types of paints and using spray cans, alright, so most of us use airbrushes, but you know. I used spray cans when I first started and moved airbrushing, so we've all got to start somewhere. And you get the decal sheet, but we'll have a look at that um, in a second after the instructions. And most of all, the instruction book. All right. As always, to me, has always got a nice, clear, clearly printed instruction book. All right, and there's that's, this is the Japanese one that there is. Think or is it English on the inside? All right, so it's English on the inside. This is the only book I got with the kit, guys. So I, there's normally like a Japanese one, and there's normally one that has English instructions as well. But with this kit, I got just the Japanese one on the front, but with English. So 
So here is English English on the FAMO. And, the, and this is pretty cool, okay? So if I bring you a little bit closer, just so you can get a better look with me. It's showing you here that the different vehicles that it's towing, okay? So you got the, what is it, a Tiger, Tiger 1. We have here a Panther. And we have a Panzer 4, okay? Down the bottom, if I move my hands and get the shadow out of the way, you can see it. Also, you've got a diorama option. It's probably the, what the correct way to have the, the FAMOs, you know, in line while they're towing. Um, yeah, so either for a Tiger, you need three. Panther, you need three. Three of these and a Panzer 4. You'd have um, just one, okay? So, you can hit some tips. And if you are more diorama this is really cool it's really nice to touch that to me what to me has done here and if you are building putting into another diorama of a pull out option here you've got a panzer three a camp wagon three over a ditch and you now the famo has got a is pulling it out so it says here half track was fixed up to sturdy objects such as a large tree and all the rest is in german okay and then that's for this one here and on this one, it says rescue with one half track. Wire rope was used to connect half track to a towing hook and a tank. Half um, half track, blah, 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 blah. You know, um, pause the screen and have a read for yourself. But yeah, it is giving you tips and some ideas on dioramas and things like that with this model. So that's on page three. We're going to zoom out a bit so look at the rest of the booklet. <coughs> Excuse me. And on top of page four, we just... Uh, what's it say here? Tools recommended. All right, so tools recommended. Um, if you just bought this kit, you got no modeling tools or anything like that. You've just started. This is what they're saying you can use. But if you're an experienced modeler, you generally ignore this part because you've normally got everything. You know, you've got all the tools ready to go. Um, number step one would look like we're building the engine here. Okay, so it got all the typical to me. Also, you've got the paint. So these little these little black tags here. With X10 plus, you know, like one per well, one to one, so that's a 50 50 mix of X10 and X21. So that's just telling the paint ratios of what to paint the part. And if you're not sure of the color, what they're talking about, also up here they have the paint list. Okay, so just compare the numbers to that. Um, step two, I mean, the engine's it's not too busy, I don't, I don't think so. It's it's not over engineered, it's not going to be overwhelming to the beginner modeler. Uh, Number two is the chassis assembly. All right, so if I just I'm going to bring you down again, because it does seem pretty far from what I'm looking at anyway. So we have, yeah, just all the all the chassis. All right, all the cross beams and everything like that. And on the back, it was that. Um, yeah, it's just more and more of it. Okay, <clears throat> and we also get a transmission in here in step three. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, that's an air tank transmission. Step four is the engine going in with the transmission and the air tank, and all your all your lower suspension cab. Okay. Maybe this is a half track, so you're gonna have like a <clears throat> it's, also, it's a it's a tracked vehicle as long as well as the uh, wheeled steering. Okay, and then <clears throat> all right. So we've got your wheels. Well, that's your idle wheel, I think. This is your idle wheel. And that's your road wheels. There's your drive sprocket assembly. Okay, you drive another drive sprocket. Left side, right side. Okay, so that's that. We've got the exhaust. There's only a few pieces here to assemble the exhaust. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. And we've got the drive sprockets and attaching exhaust and everything to the chassis. And as I always do in my kit reviews, um, I mean, a lot of people, when they do kit reviews, they're reviewing for the experienced model, okay? I try to do the review for the rookies out there, so and if you are an experienced model, just excuse me, because I'm trying to help the newbies out here too. Um, <clears throat> with the assembly, okay, you can see how here that you've got all the wheels under the chassis, and, you know, and if you haven't painted any of this, okay? So in these previous steps, if you haven't painted any of these, and you've just started gluing everything together, you might find it tricky, guys, especially if you want to paint the chassis rail. So, um, plan your build, um, and I do say this in every in all my latest videos. Plan your build because it's actually quite important to think about what you can paint prior and assemble, 
and what you have to assemble and paint like it's, it's it's one of those things it's it's hard to get your head around but once you build a few models and you make a few mistakes um don't be don't be don't be frightened to make mistakes because it happens to the best of us um and then so yeah so that's that's a little hint and tip there for the newbies um step eight is your front wheels okay you got poly caps in here as well um to assemble so it's just so you can push the wheel in and it's it's a nice fit nice snug fit um and that allows you also to, to turn the wheel i think it's going to be a spinning wheel as well on this build step nine's front suspension okay you got the front axle leaf springs the front wheels going on so these are you would have assembled here those two in this step eight and and all down here you've got your steering mechanism okay so um be very careful with glue because this is a move this is this is going to be a movable part so just be very careful and very light with your glue application and going to step 10 step 10 okay what do we got we got the coupler assembly all right so we have all this poly cap see it does say don't glue there the the little what they're showing here is the no their version but it's the tamir glue and it's got a cross through it so don't glue that part and attaching front suspension so everything you've just built we're just assembling now onto the chassis you're going to continue to keep adding more parts winch assembly on step 12 okay so that's all your winch assembly and there's your uh, polycap turret okay and here in the kit i'm going to show you, you're going to get a bag of rope all right so it says cut the string into uh, 2m 40 centimeter in length so you, uh, was it 2m set of 2m so at least going to be a 40 meter length or four centimeters all right so attach as shown so you just yeah just i guess tie a knot and whack the poly cap in there i'm in that knot so the knot there's a there's a notch there on the edge of that wheel tie a knot so it doesn't pull out and that way when you glue this bit on top but don't glue the poly cap glue this section do it to the bottom section say so e40 to e38 in a glue together or maybe even push together but yeah just um i'd say it's pushed together and just that way it, it works everything winds together uh step 13 we have so you put the winch drum on here and more painting okay so take note of the painting and it looks like we're adding some kind of uh, what's that some kind of steering arm down here <clears throat> and then track assembly track assembly okay so this um these seem to be workable maybe by the looks of it uh use 47 links for one track each side um I'm saying don't glue that so these must these must be workable guys i assume so i'll definitely do a video on these tracks when i do come to this kit um just to give you some idea okay but don't expect the video too soon because i don't really have plans to build this model anytime soon i've got a lot of stuff to get off, off the um off the shelf of doom well at the timing of this video <clears throat> of this filming uh front fender assembly all right so some clear gave me some clear plastic parts all right so all these things you've got to read because i've been caught out a few times by not reading this little bit just by following this and you go oops i should have read that so just i mean you're pretty lucky to have all these detailed instructions here most instructions from other countries they don't even have this so you're pretty lucky that to me does supply this so use it uh seat panels <clears throat> and then sorry my throat's really dry so excuse me for that if i'm just coughing into the camera all right so we've got floor assembly all right so we've got the gear sticks and everything like that and step 16 step 17 we got cabin assembly all right so there is an interior with shovels um my back seat back seat rests for the drivers and things like that crew section rear panel okay cab assembly two Touch F22 last. Okay, so yeah, we're just adding more and more details to the cab. And then touching the bulkhead. I'm just reading what's going on top of here, so don't think I know it all. I'm just reading it. <laughs> and instrument panels, touching fuel tank. Okay, so you attach fuel tank first. Alright, so there's your fuel tank. 
So touch that first, otherwise it's gonna, if you just don't read that and start assembling all this stuff and then go, oh, maybe that doesn't fit or whatever, it's telling you to do that first for a reason. Uh, also here, do not attach D6 this step when touching uh, figure, temporary, temporarily holding with cellophane tape. All right, so there and there. Touching cabin, so the cabin's going into the chassis. Also with your front fender that you would have built assemble in step 15 right here all right so if you need to build it put it aside paint it weather it whatever and then put it on later that's probably what on the inside especially the inside if you want to paint weather because you're not going to get to it once all this is put together and it's going to be really really hard guys all right so that's that part step uh 21 so it looks like we're getting uh clear parts so the windows on this are actually it's a really thin sheet of you know, as if you'd buy like a sheet of evergreen plastic, plastic, clear plastic. This is how this piece is, but it's cut out so it almost looks like photo etch, but it's, yeah, it's really nicely done. And I'll show you that in a minute. We've got the air cleaner. See, so it drives windshields, right? All there, it's all self-explanatory there. Step 22, touching the windscreen and platforms and everything like that. I mean, sorry about the long part of this instruction, but there is a lot. It's actually quite a detailed build. Uh, step 23, we've got the flatbed assembly, so flatbed or tray if you're in, in Australia. I think we're using American English here, aren't they, Heather? Yep, so she's nodded, so that's a flatbed assembly, American English. Flatbed mounts, more flatbed mounts, that's all to lock onto the chassis. I guess this is a lot to be pre-fit and be careful because if these don't line up and the, any of these, sorry, if any of these things are crooked, you're not going to get these on the chassis properly, so just... Don't be in a rush to get these in, okay? So just take your time, especially in this section. All right, so that's that. And what's that? Attach F15 as, sh F15 as shown. So that's F15, F15. So they're showing this little part here is on an angle, so it's not directly straight up and down, okay? All right, so just be aware of that. It's on a slight angle when you glue it. Step 24. <clears throat> we have spare wheel, spare wheel assembly, spare wheel racks, alright, so that's pretty cool. It's actually a cage that goes under the flatbed. So if you've got a pickup truck or a four-wheel drive unit or something, and you're going to see something similar to that, and how your spare wheel fits under the back of it. Uh, attaching the flatbed, so, you know, once again, you've got to make sure all this is painted weathered. All underneath is pain weather before you assemble this, otherwise it's not going to get done. It's going to be a, just black. And we get all the figures, right? So all these figures here. And these are all the assembly and everything like that. Alright. And then you've got the, the paint codes, um, training uniform, overall. Okay, so you've got all the refer above for painting. Alright, so that's that. Paint guide for your figures. Attaching the body parts, so these are your mirrors, your grab handles, your grab rails, uh, if there's spotlights or anything on this thing. And okay, this one here is select open or folded, all right? So I think you get two parts, uh, B39, all right? And that's if it's open, all right? So if that's folded up, don't put it all on, all right? So, this part here is replicated by the shadow here. If you want to have a closed option, you use this part. And also what they're saying is if you want it open, to have all the ribs opened up and everything like that, these are the individual parts that you have to glue in on the flatbed. And it also, if, if you want to make a cover, um, it's explained in the next in the next step 31, but I'll, we'll get to that. And touching the toolboxes, okay, so you get some toolboxes. Unfortunately, you don't get spanners and screwdrivers and none of the tools are included, okay? So if you want to have your drawers open, have some tools, um, you know, in the toolboxes, you probably have to source um, them aftermarket, whether they're PE or you scratch build your own or you've got some laying around in your bits box, okay, which is always handy. And number 39, we have the drawbar, okay? So these are also going to be how you just how you're going to display this model once it's done these are all things that you have to think about um, when you when you're building your model and also yeah just like i said it's always important to read through the instructions that way you can plan your build what 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 you're going to do to it and your loading accessory set all right 
and I think this comes with the kit, all right? But there's a lot of other things um, that you may want to add. Once again, you're going to have to um, saw some things. And to make the tarp, um, it says make flatbed top from materials such as tissue paper. All right, so tissue paper, add a bit of wood glue to it, or add some kind of medium to the to the glue to the tissue paper, shape it, let it dry, paint it, and all weather it, and that sort of stuff. So, yeah. If you've already made these before and use a different material and it works for you, go right ahead. You know, just whatever works for you, whatever's easy and what you can get your hands on. Step 32, draw bar connection. All right, so this is for a Tiger 1. We've got a Panzer 4 and we've got a Sturmgeschutz 3. So it's, they're showing you this part because I think it's way the hitches are shown, maybe. I'm just going to read through it. Tow bar over tiny size half detected using wire rope. Alright, so uh, only one uh, it's just yeah, just a bit of information being on how what vehicle you're gonna tow. And some one of these these are uh, I have have the paint guide I guess um, in black and white. It'd be nice if one day Tamir to upgrade their instruction books they probably have in some of their brand new kits but I'm not haven't really got my hands on one so I'm not too sure but what I'm saying is it'd be nice to see start to see color in their instructions because everyone else seems to be doing it and it comes in a, just comes in handy you can really see what you're doing but yeah these are all your color paint guides here all your color call outs and things like that decal placement isn't on here oh yeah they are, they are here so everything is it's also got your decal placement on here. Alright. Not many decals, that's why I missed out missed them out, so they're all here. Alright. France, Tunisia, and uh, Yugoslavia. Alright. Three options. And Russia. Here's your camo version of it. Alright, so there's enough on that. So here's the decal sheet. Okay, it's it's printed by Tamir. It's not a very big one. Decal seemed quite nice, and that's why I think maybe depends on. I don't know how they're going to be on the grey, but maybe the white might die a little bit. So you might need to just paint. Oh, I'm probably going to like hand paint a little bit of white over the top just to make them pop a little bit more. We'll see what happens, but they seem quite nice. So here's the chassis. The there's holes in the side for the suspension or the and then there's the pinholes here for the suspension to lock into so it's I think it's gonna be a pretty straightforward build no mold lines on here that I can see so far all right um, I think these bits you may have to remove I think this is just to keep I think this part this part and this part and may and this part as well on the front you're gonna to need to remove just to keep the rigidity of the um, part <coughs> Um, while well, it's in the box and on the sprue here on this little part right here I don't know if you can see it it does say 1999 so this little thing so this kit you know, it's, it's gonna it's it's 21 years old it's 20 years old 21 years old um, but yeah still pretty nice all right and so the next sprue is going to take a look at we're gonna I think we're gonna look at it the way the instructions are telling you to build it in a way so at least you got an idea of what we're looking at if you remember the instruction part of the, the video so we're going to look at the running more of the running gear and here and also on this sprue it does include figures all right so we have all the suspension arms here you, and if you if you use the models building vehicles with um, torsion bars and things it doesn't come with torsion bars in this kit all right so we've got some figures we have some tools, all right. So 28, 29, we've got tools. We've got the tow hooks, or the, sorry, tow cable ends, or the eyelets, eyes, what do you want to call them? Yeah, figureheads, I mean, they don't look too bad. Like, I'm, I'm definitely no expert model or figure painter, and I'm very, very, like, just basic when it comes to figures. I'm not very good at it. So, I mean, these are good enough for me. Most of the experienced guys are saying they're terrible, throw them out. Go spend 50 bucks on resin ones, and it's like, 
yeah, it's not worth it. But if you just want to paint some figures and get better at it, you know, these are good to start with. And we have all the cross members um, along here as well that you have to glue into the chassis. On here, this is nicely done, okay? Here are the ribs for the rear torno cover or the rear cover for the back of the flatbed. You see here, they're all just, it's it's really nice, like it's how Tamir's has done it. All right, so there's probably nearly next to no chance of these breaking, just how they've raised everything. You can see with the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the swing arms and things like that on here. So that's that sprue. That's actually sp sprue B, by the way, guys. And sprue, and the first, this one here was sprue B as well. So they're duplicates, are they? Mm -hmm. They are too. Didn't even notice. <laughs> Duplicate parts. And we're going to go to the road wheels. Okay, this is also in a duplicate bag. And so these are sprue A. We've got the road wheels here. We've got the drive sprocket. We've got the idler wheel. And the, I dare say, the front wheels may be on here. Unless they're on a different sprue. They should be on here somewhere. Alright, so, yeah, there's a bit here. So there's your front, I think that's your front wheel. Front wheel, front wheel hubs. All right, so they're there as well. Pretty cool. And actually, nice detail. Like it's bring your right in. You can see that the details are nice and they're just nice and sh nice and sharp, even on the. Yeah, it's just typical to me quality that everyone talks about, and it's true. Um, we've got some figures. Looks like Donald Trump. That's true. And so, some figures, a Z sprue, both of those there. All right, some, they're identical figures, identical sprues. All right, so, right, there's those there. Okay, so the next couple of parts that we're gonna be looking at, and I'm gonna leave these, these next two um, bags closed because if it, if anything breaks off these and, and they come just fall off We're going to be in trouble because we're probably going to need those parts, but this is the bag for or this is this uh, The track sprue you can see that they're all indie link tracks. There's no it's not Lincoln link system or it's not a rubber band system If you've never built tracks before it can be tricky You just got to take your time and if you're not sure I mean like I said at the start of the video that the track video for this kit or for this build won't be out for quite some time because it's going to be quite some time until I build this model. But definitely go go searching on YouTube, social media, and you know, more than likely someone's actually done a video on assembling these particular tracks. And you know, just the main thing to think about is just take your time, be patient because tracks on their own is a is a is all basically a model kit on its own. It's just it can be very time consuming, a lot of sanding and, and things like that. All right. And the the next bag I'm going to leave closed up is the wheels, only because it's got the clear plastic parts. I don't want just nothing falling out and scratching or breaking. So if I lose these, it's going to be a nightmare to try and uh, to fix it. All right. And there's your all right, there's your ca cable that comes included. It's just uh, a little cardboard bit of flat bit of cardboard, some. Uh, rope wrapped around it and if you if you want to use wire and make it um, you know, for the winch if you want to use wire cable and wind it in yourself it's that's entirely up to you I don't know what works so it's just going to be a bit of an experiment game there and between the wheel and the, the clear window there is a tiny little bag um, of a little you know a little sprue of poly caps you can see them there just hiding just behind this wheel here so black poly caps and that is that bag all right the next bag we open up we're greeted with sprues e and sprues g but i'm going to show you sprue e first okay so on the bottom left hand side of sprue e you can see the exhausts all molded in i think it's what is it looks like it's the bottom half's in one piece and i don't know where the other halves are all right, so maybe they just have it like that, so you you're not going to see the top half, so they've left it out. We're not I'm not too sure yet. We've also got a jack, all right, build German armor. You're very 
you're very familiar with the uh, with the jack system we have the draw bars we have the leaf spring suspension here all right so it looks like all this stuff here's your steering arm for the front wheels and if you go all the way to the left hand side you can see that here's your air tank transmission and more of your winch system there and all the little bits and pieces for the towing mechanisms all right so that's this sprue here and on sprue G if we put that to here I'm not too sure what they are uh, they could be aerials well, I'm not too sure I'm not gonna say anything on that one but here we have the toolbox drawers and um, parts 15 16 13 14 got the engine here in 23 and 25 and all the other um, bits and pieces that come with it and here also parts of the exhaust that comes out of the engine and in the final two bags we have sprue D and this is where you get the fender okay the fender the front grill all your window frames your spare wheel holder you got your steering wheel if that is that an oil filter okay I'm not too sure that there could be an oil filter I'm not too sure here's the seats for the for your figures it looks like there's a front floor and there's the firewall and your little dash that's pretty cool a little dash panel yeah, it looks, they look like window arms or mirror arms so I'm guessing there and there's obviously your bonnet or your hood depending on what country you come from there's your fuel tank right there and it's all nicely it's just wow it's really 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 nice detail um, actually very very sharp here it's just really sharp and if you love if you love using washes and things like that and dry brushing and all that sort of goodness when it comes to modeling I think you can enjoy painting this there's just so much detail that's going to pop out in your face when you start highlighting it and shading it and everything like that so and in the final final sprue before we come to the end of this video we have sprue f okay so this is all the uh the flatbed the tray okay of this famo so there's the bed there walls and they look like part of the fenders and mud guards like that for the for the down the bottom here. And it looks like the they like the for the cabin. So there are cabin parts on here as well. It's where your figures go in, I think, and they sit because it's an open open top vehicle. And that's so yeah, it's like a grab a grab handle grab rail system there I'm not too sure what that is but other than that flip it over and there's more detail on the other side right, zoom out a bit and eject the pin marks oh. they're there but I think Tamir's and with Tamir they're smart enough they put their ejector pin marks in the correct position so when you start gluing stuff down you don't really see them um, there may be the odd one that you've got to fill and clean it's a, that's my experience with Tamir models um, so really nothing bad to say about these sprues on first inspection to show you guys but um, that's the end of the video guys that's that's the box empty so I just want to thank you guys for sticking around for as long as you have and um, you know, if you like the video give it a give it a like Definitely feel free to comment down below with any questions you have. Um, you know, hit the bell notification so you um, get notified when I release, or Heather and I release new videos here on Outback Mini Models. And, um, yeah, feel free to share it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your support, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.